hey guys it's Dash. welcome to my youtube channel i'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial and in this one i want to show you how you can easily clone your pins on pin interest into figma designs there are several reasons why you might need to import your pin into your figma designs one of them might just be that you can easily migrate a lot of pictures into your figma designs let's say you have a collection of 10 pins 20 pins and you want to bring those pins into your figma designs you can do them easily with this method and without further ado i will be showing you exactly how you can get to do that in this tutorial another reason again why you can do this is that you can actually improve the uh, quality of the images while you are trying to do this also to be able to do this we need the help of a plugin called html to design it's a fantastic plugin available in the figma community you can just go to your figma uh project or design you can come up here and then you can come to your plugins in your case if you have not used this plugin before you might need to come to manage plugins and then search for html to design but i have it here i will just open up this so we have this plugin here and this is exactly what this plugin looks like quite very very simple and easy to use so literally this plugin will help you just import any website via their url in my previous video i showed exactly how you can use this plugin also to import your twitter or your x status or tweet or whatever into your figma design so you can also check out for that tutorial you see a link in the video description or on the screen right now if you come down here you will see that this plugin has a chrome extension uh, so you can see here that you have the option for you to install this chrome extension into your browser and if you do that you would have this chrome extension here this chrome extension will literally help you clone any website front end back end you can log in into facebook and use it to clone facebook you can log in anywhere and use it to clone and let me show you exactly how that is done because this same chrome extension will help us clone our pin interest so this is pin interest right now so anytime you want to clone any page just come to the page and then you can come to the chrome extension here you can launch the chrome extension and we have several options here we can choose to snip the full page a session on the page you may want to have a clone of not just the web view but also the mobile view or maybe the top view or the desktop or laptop view and that's why you have several viewpoints here and i think that's fantastic but by default here we might just want to clone uh the browser with but I think for the purpose of this example, I would work with uh, maybe the mobile view. Let's just do away with browser width and then a laptop, which is 1440 pixel. Maybe this is good enough. And let's do the full page and let's see exactly what this plugin can do. So you can see that we have some document downloaded into our browser here. So we can come back to our Figma designs. And what we want to do right now is for us to dismiss this label so now we have the option to drop our h2d files here uh so let's come to our downloads and then we can just one after the other drag this here so automatically this plugin would auto lay out the page which is quite fantastic and also hyperlinks so that means that every link on your Pin interest will remain active and i think that's quite very very fantastic so let's import this we have some missing front here and it has been replaced and i think that's quite very good uh, like this and then we can see already that we have this here so you can see 14 images may be available in higher resolution and that's what i said earlier that this would also help you import high resolution images and everything you need to do is just to click this button here and you can see that we are importing higher resolution images already and that's that's quite very 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 good okay so this is done and that's good so let's hit the okay button uh that's it today so i think we have the web view here already so let's try to bring in the second one here and let's do the same thing here So we have 11 images here for the second option so let's just click this fantastic so this is done so let's okay button and then we are done with this plugin so let's close this so that's it so right now i might just come down here and then let's zoom to 
fit isn't this amazing so now let's zoom in so let's see what we have so so this exactly our pins inside of our figma design isn't this amazing unfortunately here we can see that the mobile version is not aligning well you might just want to maybe redo that inside of the figma designs so that's it with this plugin you can give this plugin a try and let me know your experience in the comment section i'll be looking out for them and that's my time for this tutorial i'll see you in another one and until then bye for now